Well, thank you all for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, my name is Seth Borders, as the notes say. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll uh, preface that a, a big chunk of this presentation is uh, my demo day presentation that I gave. Um, and Civic Artworks was accepted as one of the Impact Engine companies uh, this past year. For those that aren't familiar with Impact Engine, it's one of the Currently, there's more on the way. Uh, currently, one of the two accelerator programs here at 1871, uh, TechStars being the other. But Impact Engine um, is focused on businesses that have uh, societal impact, positive societal impact as a part of what they do day to day. It's not tack on being good to the world. It's a part of what we do to make money. Um, and a plug for them, uh, tomorrow night here at 1871 in the auditorium is um, a big event for the unveiling and opening of the third uh, cohort's uh, applications, which I think open up the next day on Thursday. So we'll be accepting eight to ten more companies to come and uh, hang out here in Jam in 1871, doing good for the world. Uh, managing director of that was uh, Chuck Templeton of uh, Open Table and all those fun companies. So, uh, Touch of gold, um, but it's transitioning to uh, just being uh, and taking the day to day. So anyway, go tomorrow and learn about that. Um, so who we are, um, and I'll skip over some of this, and I think most of the people in the room drink the Kool-Aid that we're drinking um, at our demo day. Um, those in the audience um, are of a different sort and needed some convincing, let's say. Um, but we've been around for a couple years. Uh, we started in mid 2012. Um, my background is in architecture and urban planning. I uh, went to the University of Illinois down in Champaign for several years. Came up here, did architecture for a while. Something happened in 2008. I decided to jump ship and start planning using the other cap that I earned as an Illini. I uh, went to work for a uh, global architecture and planning firm called HOK, um, which actually, um, Chris Trell was shy to say next to them. Yeah, so I was working all over the world, and uh, that was fun, uh, especially when you're dating. It's kind of a cool thing to talk about, but when you get married to that person, they want you to come back home. Uh, and uh, click next. I'm going to apologize ahead of time. It has a lot of the remnants of the old animation. But China, India, Turkey, and then the, uh, the exotic landscape of Lincoln Park, um, where the natives um, always seem to be restless, never lack an opinion and um, certainly are interested in maintaining their property values. <laughs> uh, 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 but my, my inspiration started when I was a little kid. If you go to the next, I uh, won't reveal my, uh, my hometown yet, but it, it inspired me. It's a small central Illinois town of about 10,000 people. Traditional Midwestern grid with the town square in the middle, and everything just seemed right. But then on the fringe, you've got uh, what's become um, all too scary and typical of American communities is sprawl. And um, I, myself, a little bit more background myself, I served as a national board member for the Congress for the New Orleans um, I know Mr. Banks may know that group. Um, but uh, we're sprawl busters making traditional walkable mixed use communities happen. So, um, anyway, so from, from a very early age, I, I just I was fixated on my hometown and how we could, uh, if you click next and just click on through and thought of all these things that could be done. Um, at that point in time, I didn't have a degree, I didn't have any sort of professional license, I didn't have anything, I didn't have any money. Um, I mean, I made friends out of toilet paper rolls and Kleenex boxes. <laughs> uh, so I didn't have any clout. And you know, this is the part where you're already drinking Kool-Aid. Is that I, I've just been fixated not only in my hometown, but on ways in which ordinary people can get involved and play a part 